Hello, in case you're wondering why I am in the same exact spot in the same exact clothes on the same exact day as the last video, uh, it's because it just finally stopped raining and we're gonna give it a minute to maybe hopefully a little bit dry out before we take Elwyn to play at the park. Elwyn is still down here being a good boy. So I wanted to go into more detail about frequently asked question I get about how I use my computer. So I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of different features that I like to use. Okay, so this is my MacBook. I've got the accessibility settings pulled up already. I'm gonna show you the two main ones I use for like 99% of tasks. To start, you can already see I'm using Zoom. Let's go into the Zoom settings, everything's turned on there's a lot of different things going on here but essentially if I press one button control and I scroll if it's a mouse I just you know scroll on the mouse wheel or a trackpad like on my MacBook here I would scroll up and down like a, with two fingers like I would for any menu I press control and then I scroll and it goes in and out as much as I want it to and it's just quick, simple, and easy to get me some extra magnification. There's a couple other ways you can enable and disable magnification. The most convenient way and the way I like to do it is just pressing one button and scrolling. It's just so simple and easy to do. And I use it literally all the time to read your comments. If there's a short comment, I'll read it, just zooming in. If it's a little bit longer, like I've said before, I have a condition called nystagmus. It's constant shaking of the eyes. I have to stop them to read something and it can get really exhausting on my eyes and they can just start to hurt really quickly. So I got my notes app pulled up here and we're actually gonna back out of Zoom and we're gonna go to spoken content. And really the only thing we need to worry about here is speech selection. And so if I go over here and type something, uh, I could just type out something like, hello, my, so I need to zoom in, I can't see what I'm doing. I've already made a typo. Hello, my name is Dylan. I can lean in a little bit more, like physically get myself closer to the computer to see a little bit better. Uh, I'm nearsighted, so it helps to lean closer or hold things closer to my face. So I've got that typed out, but I'm gonna erase it actually because I can dictate this. I can turn on the dictation shortcut. Hello, my name is Dylan. And I've forgotten the period, hold on a second. Period. There we go. And I can just speak it. Just saves a little bit of time, honestly. I'm way more used to dictating things than typing them out. I'd say I type about 25 words per minute. I'd say I dictate at like, I don't know, 75, 80 words a minute. So I like to dictate things more. And the shortcut is really simple. You can set it to whatever you want. So that's how you dictate. That's pretty short and simple. Going back to spoken content or speech selection, I've typed out my sentence here. And now all I have to do for speech selection is highlight it and press my keyboard shortcut. Hello, my name is Dylan. And it reads it to me. As long as I can highlight something on, on my computer, for a MacBook anyway, as long as I have speech selection turned on and I highlight something, it reads it to me. I can read anything. I can. It doesn't matter how long it is. It's gonna just start at the beginning and end at the end of where I've highlighted. For something really short, like let's say reading comments, if it's a short comment, I can just zoom in, read it with my own eyes really quick. It's not really gonna tire out my eyes with the nystagmus quickly. Longer comment, someone has more to say. I'll probably just highlight it and have it read to me. And these two features are what I need to get 99% of things done. So those are the settings I like, and I hope this has really shown people how I am able to use my computer and how it's not really, with all of these settings and you know a modern computer, it, it's not really that difficult when you're visually impaired to use a computer.